Hey guys and gals, it's Mr. Know-It-All here, and I've got to share something with you on this beautiful Pensacola day. Hey guys and gals, Mr. Know-It-All here, where you get smarter with every video you watch. The first thing I want to do is apologize for such a catastrophe I have here. This is an emergency fix. This is our attic fan. It's not working. So continue watching, and don't forget our quick tip at the end of the video. They're really good, some of them. Today we've got a attic fan, electric motor, and the thing is making a radical noise and I'm gonna share with you how to fix that. So you don't have to buy a $60 motor. This is what it sounds like right now. Julio, tell everybody where all the tools are. Buscaren el show más de la descripción de video para todas las herramientas. Thank you, Julio Cesar Chavez Rodriguez, Clint Eastwood. That's his new name. <laughs> good all right this is how you fix that you can make this last two three four years longer keep it as a backup buy the new one keep this as a backup no sense throwing it away rotate it over and you'll see in the back side here a lot of the electric motors will have a grease oil here or something like that well they don't want you to do that with this they just want you to replace it so this is all you have to do Right back here, you just take your center drill, little tiny center drill, and you drill a little pinhole right there in the very center. And with a center drill, you don't have to have a punch to make it so that the drill bit will find where it's supposed to go. Just use the center drill just like this. Is you take your syringe and you open it up someday take the best lubricant known to man tilt it forward all right let's get busy first thing we're going to do is put on our awesome Headlamp, one of the best out there. There's only two that we use. And then we'll turn it up as bright as it goes. Now we're going to put the rest of it right in the hole that we made. We're going to rotate it around in there as we go. You will not believe the difference this will make. Like I said, you can use this as a backup motor. You can get a new one, keep this one just in case, hook it up and use it to blow a fan in your shop, whatever you want to do. But there's no sense throwing it away when all it needs is a little bit of lubrication. Now what we'll do is we'll plug it in and it should just do nothing but hum. Here we go. That's all you got to do, folks. Fix it yourself. We don't have to buy new every time. And the other place you want to put your grease is right along the shaft here, no pun intended. And all you do is stick the syringe right up in here. Spin it a little bit. Look how freewheeling that wouldn't do that before. It wouldn't freewheel like that at all. Maybe we caught the bearing at the right time. But if it goes for a very long period of time, the bearing will be toast and there will no, be no fixing it. You can get it to work for a couple of weeks or so, but that's about it. Then we take our electrical cleaner, electrical lube. Spray around. And then tip it upside down. Do the same there. Like I said, that would never freewheel before. You could barely turn it. Now we'll just let her set for a couple hours, put it back together. Just saved ourselves a boatload of money. I just have to share this with you. I may or may not have told you about Scott's equipment, but Here's the gig. They thought it was the gearbox, which is this rig right here. And it wasn't that. It was the actual wheel right here. 
it was the cogs on the other wheel are all chewed up and so it was spinning the thrower so I told them and they'd already sent me one of these and I told them what it was they sent me a whole new set of wheels and a whole new axle for that spreader no charge no charge no charge didn't have to pay shipping didn't have to do anything so that just kind of tells you that even though Scott's stuff may be a little bit expensive compared to other stuff their customer service is beyond compare and I bought this over a year ago bought that over a year ago that's pretty good there's your quick tip. Mr. Know-it-all, out.